In today's video, I'm going to be kind of sharing with you how I go through packing and preparing for a road trip, especially now with two kids. Um, we used to go on trips a lot with just our son, but now that we have two kids, we I feel like I don't want to become fearful of traveling and going out of town with two kids, so I'm just going to push through and start kind of early. My son is 21 months and my daughter is one month old, and so we are going to go glamping and I'm going to share with you guys how I prepare and um, pack for this trip. All right, so the first thing I do when I um, get ready to plan a trip or go on a trip is I like to write it down on a note. Um, I, I typically just go on my phone and use the notes. And so what I did first was I just titled it Camping Trip and I categorized different things that I know I'm going to be needing to prepare. I have all these categories and then I go in and just add things that I know I need to go and pack for each of those things. Um, I also like to do this because if, say, my trip is in a month, I can start this um, list earlier and then as the weeks or the days go on, I'm able to go back and add things to this category and this just really helps me mentally dump everything and make sure I don't forget anything. So I just start off like from starting from the first day. So the morning we wake up is going to be Saturday and I don't know, do I want to take him in the pajamas and change him when we get there? Am I going to have an outfit for him? So I start off kind of like that. So for Jedediah, I'm going to make sure he has an outfit for Saturday. So Saturday's outfit, um, Saturday's pajamas, I'm going to put times two because he's going to need an extra pair just in case, you know, we're not at home or, you know, we won't be back. So I want to make sure he has enough clothes. Saturday... Um, Saturday night, Saturday pajamas actually. So Saturday PJs, um, he's going to have his shoes, he'll have, I want to make sure I have enough diapers, um, body wipes, his hair stuff, hair supplies, his toothbrush, and toothpaste, um, his water bottle pacifiers I just I'm basically thinking like what he like needs on his body what he usually typically needs so now Sunday's pajamas sorry Sunday's outfits I'll put times two again and we don't need pajamas because we're late we're coming back Sunday so that's nice so I'm gonna have four outfits one set of pajamas if I think of anything else in the next day or so for Jedediah specifically, I will make sure to just add it under his section before I start packing. Next, I'm moving on to Miss Ayla Girl. Um, so, same pretty much layout for her Saturday's outfit. <sighs> Honestly, like I should do times three for her because Saturday's pajamas, I'm going to do times two. Because she's a lot younger and she actually goes through her outfits. I highly doubt we're going to use any of Jedediah's extra outfits. But the reason I put them in there is say he gets dirty or just for emergencies, he has extra outfits. Um, and then Sunday's outfits, I'm going to do times two for that. So we're going to do five outfits for Ayla and two pajamas. And then obviously we need her diapers. Um, she doesn't really need body wipes, but Jedediah will have them. Rip cloths, ointment or like diaper cream, her vitamin D drops, um, maybe her gas medicine, her gas relief meds changing pad so we could change her diaper her carrier also i have a carrier that i might want to check out if i want to take for Jedediah. It's it's a lot heavier duty for um his weight limit um so i could take the carrier blankets um i'm gonna do a washcloth for her just in case i need to like wipe her down at all the hard part about traveling is going to be like not taking my breast pump I have a manual pump that I might take but the hard part is the fact that like when I breastfeed it's kind of just like in the moment pop a mouth feeder but when I'm home I actually use the haka on one side so that I'm catching on my milk but since I won't have anywhere to store my milk there's no point in me taking it because uh, I don't want to have to struggle about where am I putting the milk for the time until I can think of anything else for Ayla I'm going to go ahead and move on to my song Saturday outfit for me Saturday pajamas um, Sunday outfit and that's pretty much it. I want to take a sweater and that's something I just re remembered I want to make sure Jedediah has is a sweater. I don't know the temperature. Um, sweater, 
I'm gonna need the Hakka, a couple bottles to store my milk. I'll do like two or three. Um, what do I need for myself? I need my blanket, uh, maybe a pillow, and a bed sheet. So whenever we go traveling, um, we actually take our own bed sheet like a large sheet just to put over the bed just because we are kind of like not germaphobes but we're just not like 100% comfortable sleeping on the same bed as someone else has slept even though they wash the sheets you know who knows where they're washing these sheets what else do I need I'm gonna take my reading glasses because I don't know if we'll be driving or walking out at night and I need to see oh my water bottle my airpods maybe in case I'm feeding at night and I need to stay awake oh my tablet the charger this is actually for Jedediah, but he likes to watch shows, especially for the drive. Maybe my waist trainer. Oh, the camera, plus the charger. Um, I'm gonna move on from me and go on to foods and snacks. We're gonna need ice, we'll get some chips, some um, fruit snacks, some drinks, water, maybe like Gatorades, I don't know. Trail mix, ooh. Trail mix and maybe like some pretzels or something, I don't know. Um, some things I'm thinking of as far as extras. I know um, like when we are out about, we'll, we will either have like the carriers on us or the strollers or something, but when we're like hanging out in the room, I wanna make sure we have somewhere to have her. So I will make sure I have, take blankets to where I can lay her on the bed, but I also wanna take like, um, maybe like the boppy pillow. Um, is there anything else? So my brain's just trying to process and think, is there anything else that I need to add to this list um, before starting to pack. I kind of just walked you guys through kind of how I process preparing myself to pack. Um, today I'm actually not going to be packing. I'll do that tomorrow and show you guys me putting everything together and I probably won't be very long but I just kind of want to share with you in case you're preparing for a trip and you have kids um, and you kind of don't know where to start. So that's what I do is I just write everything out, list everything out and um, give myself like a day at least to kind of just keep thinking is there anything else that might be helpful for me to take for example I just thought of something else to add um, ooh, hey little girl you okay mama? Um, I just thought I, I use a sleeper for Ayla so I need to add that because we're gonna need her sleeper um, so her swaddle and we also need um, the sound machine for both kids um, so Stuff like that is just you want to give yourself time to continue adding to your list so that when you pack everything, you kind of already know what to grab. You do one kid at a time, get everything packed, get yourselves together, and I think it just helps make it a smoother um, packing experience. Alright, so I'm here in my son's room and I'm going to start packing his stuff. So that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys liked it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.